growth in inflation due to the increase in the money supply, but we didn't have a lot of velocity, so it didn't hit the consumer price index. And velocity is every time, how many times a dollar turns over, how long it takes it to turn over without getting into the technical aspects. So what does it mean going ahead? Well, we've got all this helicopter money, uh, money that, uh, free money, they've just given out. Um, we've got a real issue in real estate because somewhere like 48 million properties are investor owned and are rental units. And a lot of them are single family homes and small multifamily homes that have federally insured mortgages. And they're allowed to get a forbearance, but to many of you out there, have experienced that your tenants are out of work and have basically stopped paying you the rent. And they pretty much know that you have no ability to evict at this particular point in time. And I predict that the moratorium on foreclosures and on evictions will continue for, uh, for quite a while, at least another three to six months. It'll go through the summer. It might very well go to the end of the year. So if you are, if you've got a mortgage on a rental unit, on a single family home, one to four, you can get a forbearance and you might want to think about that, uh, but obviously be aware of the terms of that forbearance and a deferral. Ideally, you want that money uh, to be payable upon closing, upon sale of the mortgage or refinancing of it, upon sale of the property or refinancing of the mortgage. Whether it works that way or not, I can't tell you.